Hi, this is Heather Cook with Autism Chrysalis and another social explanation. So Hannah emailed me recently and she said, me and another person were getting a lift from a third person to go to an event. The other person had mentioned he has gas money. So I thought, gas money, that's a good idea. But then it was like, okay, how much is appropriate? I didn't want to give them too little and be kind of insulting. And I didn't want to give them too much and have it be weird. And so I looked up how far it is, how much gas costs, and then I was like, okay, this is too complicated. I'll just give them five bucks. And then the other person gave them 20 and I immediately felt I've done it wrong. But the person driving seemed surprised that he'd given them 20, but they didn't seem surprised that I had given them five. Which one of us made the social faux pas? But then afterwards I was thinking, what I did was 100% reasonable and I don't need to feel like I've done something wrong because someone else did something different from me. What do you think? Okay, Hannah. First of all, I love your self-reflection at the end. And you're absolutely right. There's nothing, just because you did something different from another person doesn't mean that you did anything wrong. And there are a number of ways to respond that are completely socially appropriate in any given situation. All right, so as to your question about the gas money, I'm not gonna be able to give you a hard and fast number because that's gonna make, a, it's gonna make a difference the cost of gas at the time, how far you're going, all sorts of things. But what I'd like to do is talk about four different considerations that can help you make a good decision. Um, all right, so the first consideration I wanna bring up is that you're all adults in this situation. If you're giving a ride to a kid, generally there's little or no expectation that, that the kid will give you anything for that or their parents as the case may be especially if it's a one-time deal. Uh, however, if it's a frequent carpool, then the parents might make some sort of a trade between them. All right, the second consideration is that this is a relatively local uh, drive as opposed to a long distance car trip. So when you're driving in town or fairly locally, there's less of an expectation that there's going to be uh, some sort of a remuneration for it when it's a long distance road trip or something like to another city to another s state especially there's more of an expectation a very high expectation that you will have some sort of um, remuneration it could be paying for gas trading off who pays for gas some sort of trade um, and you could work that out between the people involved in any number of ways. Um, by the way, this is why often passengers on long distance trips will try to, to chat and sort of entertain the driver along the way. They're often trying to make up for the driver doing the work of driving um, by, by keeping them entertained. Not all drivers appreciate that, but that is often where the impulse is coming from. Uh, so the third consideration is that this is a rare event as opposed to a frequent or regular thing. When it's a one-off, a special event, something that's not very often, there's less of an expectation of, of gas money. When it's a frequent or regular occurrence, there is more of an expectation of some sort of remuneration that could be gas money, it could be any number of other different things. Um, and the fourth consideration is the nature of your relationship between you and the person driving is the closer the relationship, the less of an expectation of, um, of payment or remuneration. Um, I'll get to the payment in a minute, but the, the more distant the relationship, the more of an expectation that you will get something um, back from it. So it sounds like in this situation, it's probably a colleague or a, a more distant friend, there's probably a higher expectation that you would give some sort of a gas money. If it was a close family member or a close friend, there's less of an expectation. All right, so those are four things to, to consider when you're trying to decide uh, if you need to give money and whether it should be a small amount or a larger amount. Now, I do wanna bring up one big consideration in terms of how much to give. When your tr goal is to, to keep a good relationship with the other person, um, 
it can be a little bit tricky because there's this sort of unspoken tension between I'm giving you money, but I'm not actually paying you for something. Like it's not a payment for a service. When there isn't that kind of relationship dynamic, when it's straight up payment for service, like you're you're hiring someone on Uber or whatever, then there isn't that tension. It's understood from the get-go that you are paying for them to give you a ride somewhere. And so talking about money in the case of a paid service is very easy, comparatively easy for most people. It's just, here's the fee, here's much how much it costs. Um, but when it's a relationship, it's more tricky. And um, because the if you give too much, it can feel like you're paying them for something. So if you're trying to keep a good relationship with a person, err on the side of giving a little bit less. That might seem counterintuitive, like you want to to butter them up by giving more or really show your appreciation by giving them more or show them how much it means to you to have them as a friend by giving more. But the more you give, the more it turns into what can feel like a paid interaction, a transaction, as opposed to a relationship. Uh, and that might be why the driver in this situation got the $20 and felt uncomfortable about that, but they didn't feel uncomfortable about you giving five. Um, by the way, this is all also why some people will say that when they're giving a ride to a friend, like sit in the front, I'm not a chauffeur, because when you sit in the back, it feels more like a service, like they're providing, uh, like they're doing something for you as a, as a service, not as a friend. Okay, and so giving a little bit less as a default or like air on the side of a little bit less keeps it more in the realm of relationships. One other thing that can keep it more in the realm of relationships is to try and make it feel casual. So you can give them some money sort of casually, not making a big deal out of it. And my biggest tip is to keep it in multiples of five. When you, um, and, and you kind of did this by default when you were trying to consider like how much the gas costs right now, how far it is, and try to calculate like how much expense it would actually cost the driver. And that's lovely to do. And it might give you a good way to um, to get an idea of approximately how much, but then whatever number you come up with, round it into fives. And again, round down a little bit. So when you give a multiple of five, it feels more casual to most people. When you give something else like six or four, it feels a little bit more calculated. And when you actually add in cents to that, like $6.19, it feels like you're being very exact, very calculating, and that takes it away from feeling casual for most people. Um, all right, so I hope that those considerations help you to decide whether you need to give money, how much to give, and ways to make it feel a little bit casual. And just keep in mind as you're, as you're doing this that there aren't hard and fast rules in most situ social situations and definitely not in this one as to exactly how much to give. So make it your best shot and try not to worry too much about getting it exactly wrong because the other person can forgive a lot um, when it's kept casual, when it's kept low key, when it feels more like a relationship than a paid service. So if you found this useful, I hope you'll share it with someone who you think might benefit from it. And if you are interested in other videos from me, go ahead and click the like and subscribe buttons and you'll get uh, new videos when they're made available. Thank you very much and have a near a wonderful day.